So there's another thought that I had, which is actually the reason I started doing videos today, um, that I kind of really wanted to articulate. First and foremost, I'm not here to tell anybody what they can and can't do. I can give you perspective, I can give you my thoughts, I can give you my ideas after as long as I've been doing this, but it's that's just me. Um, everybody's different. Um, I don't think there's a lot that really is or isn't correct. I think there's certain things that may not be a great idea, or there might be things that I think might be good ideas, but I'm not here to tell you what's right and wrong. That having been said, uh, I've been seeing something online a lot that annoys me, which happens a lot. Um, I was invited to join another generic pagan group, and I don't remember which one it was, and I wouldn't bash them if I did. But this whole, what kind of a witch are you? Are you a green witch? Are you a crystal witch? Are you an astro witch? Are you a, I, I don't know, whatever. Um, why limit ourselves? There are a lot of different kinds of witches, and this is true, and there are a lot of different people that have a lot of different uh, skills and this is true. Um, for example, myself, I look at, uh, I do with herbs and uh, growing things, so you could call me a garden witch, hedge witch, kitchen witch, whatever. Um, but there's a lot of other things I do too. I worry more that someone might decide, for example, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm an herb witch. Okay, cool. Well, what happens when you want to go do that thing over there? Well, I can't do that. I'm an herb witch. Well, it might sound silly to say it out loud, but we don't realize, you know, words are spells. What we say are spells. And a lot of times with humans, the most limiting thing you can do is define yourself. So I just, I want to invite you to think about that the next time you're trying to decide what your path is. A witch is a witch. A witch can be a lot of different things. A witch can be, dare I say it, almost anything you want it to be. Um, and I just really want to encourage people to maybe not limit themselves. Um, and that's with anything, you know, not just Wicca, not just paganism. You know, there's so many different flavors of everything out there. There's so many different things you could possibly get into. Um, and I know sometimes, you know, the, the whole uh, thing that, you know, labels help us explain ourselves to people. That's true. That's true. But at the same time, you know, it doesn't mean you can't use these words. Just maybe don't let them own you or don't own them. Um, I've had people, I'll talk to people, and they're, oh, so you're a hedge witch. I'm be honest, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'm just a witch. I'm just Runa. Uh, um, you know, I'll, I'll explain, you know, hey, I grow herbs, I use herbs, I do tinctures, I do this, I do that, but I do a lot of other things, too. Uh, some of it I can talk about publicly, some of it I can't. Sorry, it's just the way it is. But there's a lot... You know, I've done candle magic, I've done cord magic, I've done, you know, really in-depth astrological, you know, to the hour, to the minute, to the color, to the day. Obviously, I don't think that's super fun, but I can. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things out there to get into, and if you're going to learn, don't tie yourself down. And that's just, that's my two cents for the day. That's what I think about that, and it's just some food for thought, and let me know what you think.